If you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code JAPES to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome to a new thing here on my channel. We're going to call it the or Sunday Silvers, I think is what I'm going to eventually go with. It's, this is the silver team that I'm running at the moment. We're going to go ahead and do the uh, shield, similar to the Saturday shield, same thing. But we're going to focus on some silvers because I know you guys like seeing uh, some of the underappreciated players on this. We've got DeWitt. I packed uh, Mboji, I think his name is. So I wanted to pair him up and get him into the squad. And uh, there are quite a few in form. Uh, Belgian Pro League defenders. So we got a bunch of them in there. We've got Goma, the Egyptian. Uh, he would link up nicely with Chikabala. That's why he's in the squad. We've got Andre, who is a brilliant, brilliant all-around silver central midfielder. I did pack the man of the match, Balboa. So I wanted to include him as well. This guy, though, Mario Rondon. He is a monster. Picked him up for 14,500 coins. Converted him to a striker. He has 81 finishing in-game. Um, and, of course, you guys know that I absolutely love Shikabala. Um, so any chance that I can get him into a squad, even if he's only on 7 chem, I'm calling worth. Uh, but this is the squad then that we're going to go with. We're going to try to take down the champion shield. Going to give uh, Mboji a little bit more defending, a little bit more physical, though he's already got 80, 87. And I think DeWitt has 85. And absolutely, those guys are twin towers at the back. Uh, they are gladiators when it comes to playing against these gold teams. They, uh, you're, you'll, see, you'll see in the last game that we play, uh, Dumbia, Barbo, Gervinho, bring it on. These guys will shut you down 10 times out of 10. This guy using Cherchi and De Rossi up front. Nice little Serie A squ squad. Uh, but Mboji winning that. And this is Mario Rondon. Welcome to the chip life, my friend. He's watching the cutback. And I thought, all right, if that's the way it's going to go, let's test out this guy's chip. He's brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. His stats are very much suited for a striker. Right forward as well, though. Brilliant. He would, he would perform wonderfully, I'm confident, as a right forward in this formation. But... I wanted to include Shikabala, and I thought since Rondon has better finishing, we'll play him as the striker versus Shikabala as the striker. So that's the uh, that's the way we went with this one. You can see just lovely bit of arc right over the keeper into the far corner. Uh, Shimanga, many of you guys are familiar with him. He is a burner, 90 something pay, 92 pays maybe. So so quick. Shikabala, of course, the five star skills. Uh, not that you're really seeing me pull them out right here. Doing a lot of basic stuff, which is pretty standard for me. But a lovely left footed strike finds the far corner in the back of the net, giving us a two goal lead in the 30th minute to get things started. In a four three two one formation. I think I might have gotten the instructions right for the way it plays. Now, an interesting thing about this formation, I have stay back while attacking for my central center mid of the three CMs. Um, but he has, I think he has high, high work rates. The other two outside CMs, I have balance. What a first time chip. Give me some of that dirty talk. Uh, the other two CMs have medium attack, high defensive work rates. So that might have had something to play a part. It's something that I'm going to have to play around with a little bit more, but... All in all, I really, really liked the way the midfield worked because nobody got too high up. And I was able to cut out counterattacks because of that. And it gave my attackers plenty of plenty of room to work. The first time chip is brilliant. And that is, it's a much more difficult skill because you have to hold it just a teensy, teensy bit longer. Um, and I was talking to Ezekiel briefly on Twitter. He said, James, you should really do a chip tutorial. I think people would be down to see that. So it's something I'm going to keep in the back of my mind. I certainly have enough clips to where I could uh, I could work it out in some way, shape, or form. But Shikabala, brilliant use of skill, eventually finds his way inside. Unnecessary chop and a terrible finish, but it went by the keeper nonetheless. So I'm going to take that and say, Japes, you can do some skills from time to time, uh, which is always nice. It is fun having a five-star skiller in the squad. Um, I will say Balboa, the man of the match card, he is kind of clunky. Um, very fun card to have in because he's very unique, but... He is not ex an exceptional player. You can see right here, that was really, really awkward. But he manages, manages to find a back pass, makes its way inside of Rondon, goes top net, the best net, crushing finish uh, right past the keeper. He is brilliant. And he goes for, like, next to nothing, Ryan. You can pick up an informed silver for, like, 15,000 coins at the moment. 
pick him up, throw him on the bench, have a play around with him. If you like him, great. If you don't, not a problem. You're not going to be losing tons of coins on him because he's not going to be going down much from there. You can see nice uh, spacing for the goals, the assists. A lot of players got involved in that first match. So on we went into the second round of this cup. Or rather, we slowly went on into the second round of the cup. And now we got the winner upgrades out. I went ahead and tried to pack them all. I managed to tr pack uh, the upgraded Jerome Boateng so, and Shabby Alonso. So as you guys know, I'm a Byron fan. And so I am as happy as they come right now. I'm going to have to give those guys a test. I'll be doing some squad builders, I think, later on this week. Or similar to this kind of cup stuff. But one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm going to need you guys to tweet me... Um, and let's see, I'm going to have to, what hashtag do we want to go with? But uh, we'll use the hashtag subscriber shield because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one of your teams, use your instructions, and uh, I'll chat with you maybe a little bit about what you like and what you don't like. Incorporate that into the video. Use one of those teams, use the instructions, and then give you guys my thoughts as I play through and try to win a cup. I think it'll be a good bit of fun and it gives me a way to kind of interact with you guys. So, be sure to tweet me using that hashtag, subscriber shield. And if you want to throw a hashtag chip life in there, I'm not going to complain about that either. It's our man Mario Rondon, the Venezuelan, gets back in. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Is that a sweet little chip? I kind of want to put him in a squad with Mr. Uchan. I think they would uh, complement each other quite nicely. Brilliant, brilliant chip um, off of his, I think he's only three-star skills, but that is fantastic. Nearly unsavable. Opponents really were not that bad. And this guy had a, I'd call it a cute team. If you remember, he had to, the uh, Club America Silvers Arroyo in there, who's quote unquote the Silver Ronaldo by many of you guys. And he goes on a very Ronaldo-esque run, just kind of running past my defenders. And I'm sitting there going, Twin Towers at the back. What are you guys doing? Bully that man. You guys are two of the like highest physically rated silver defenders in the game. Bully that man. And we just didn't get our foot out in time to tackle it. So we uh, went to extra time. You can see 116th minute looking for the chance, looking for the gap. Andre out wide to Balboa. And that's the lack of confidence in Balboa right there. Not wanting to rush it. But Rondon, on the other hand, or that's Goma. That's not Rondon. Goma popping up in a brilliant spot. And the Portuguese league actually has quite a few Egyptian players. So you can build, you can work Chica Ball into a few hybrids. Not to mention, he's got that, I think it's, I think he's sporting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm almost positive it's sporting. He's got the sporting connections as well. Uh, even though I don't think that he's actually played for them this year. Um, so... Indeed, it is sporting. All right, I got that right. I know the uh, all the Portuguese league fans, if you mess around with sporting and Benfica or you get them wrong, everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. this just got real. So we're trying to keep it away from that. And on we went into, I believe we're on to the semifinals right now. So we got the semis and the finals, hopefully, to go. And these were some, these were some decent opponents. Um, so it made it a really, really fun and enjoyable cup. And I've been... For the most part, coming across people that aren't that have some unique teams, like the guy that we played before, that was a unique team. That was enjoyable. It's not your same standard stuff that you see time and time again. You have to think, oh, this will be an interesting guy to defend. This guy, a pretty interesting squad as well. I don't know about that. Well, he's got uh, for the company connection. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to use Zabaleta. I think it's Richie Delay um, as his right back from Leicester. But he is going with the, I think that's the second in form of Bamiang up there. And he just wanted to sprint with him. So it made it very, very easy to close him down. Twin Towers at the back. Bullying Bamiang. Rondon gets free. He's got brilliant finishing. He's going to put that one away. 67th minute. That's an easy counter attack. Straight from the center back all the way on through. In form to in form. And it's brilliant when it works out that way. 1-0, 67th minute is what we are looking at in this one. And you can see his center back's kind of all over the place. And it's just a nice near post finish right by the keeper. Highly, highly recommend Mario Rondon. That's where this one came to a close. 1-0. So it was a, that was a very challenging match. Um, not for the sake that I didn't have chances, but more so I wasn't putting them away. And whenever you play against a front three of Bale, Royce, and second form of Bami Yang, there's always going to be that off chance that something's going to squeak through or your defender's going to trap it poorly and Aubameyang's going to be free. And even though you've got 60-plus percent of the possession, 
the struggle is going to be on, and you're going to have to come back from the 1-1. But luckily, we played some solid defense because our back two is or our two center backs are really good. Shimanga, Shimanga, also very pacey, quite nice. And my informed keeper, I think he was only about 15,000 coins as well. He's pretty decent. I was thinking about going out and getting the man of the match Copa, but he goes for like three or four hundred thousand coins. It was only a matter of time though before we came up against the sweat that is the new Roma front three. But my defenders are perfectly capable of handling that, so it really wasn't a problem. Nice close control here, Mario Rondon. Give him some free space. And it's another beauty all the way over the keeper. This guy is so, so much fun to play with. And I don't even know exactly how to put my finger on it. He pops up in brilliant spots. His finishing is good. He's strong. I think he's got over 70 physical um, for an attacker. His finishing is great. He's fast enough. His dribbling is good enough. His shooting is good enough. And he just makes for an all-around wonderful silver to use that I would highly, highly recommend to you guys. Um, I think feel like a broken record now because I've said it so many times. Same thing with Shikabala, cutting free inside. The five-star Pharaoh causing all sorts of problems. In the 89th minute for my opponent, nice close control. He's strong as well. He's six foot tall, um, and he's got 80 pace. So he is fast enough to make the most of those skills, but also strong enough when you know you get into a sticky situation to be able to come away with it. Lifts it nicely into the top net, the best net to secure the final in the 90th minute, uh, concluding this Sunday, this episode of Sunday Silvers. That eh, might be a working title. We'll figure it out. But I want to thank you guys nonetheless for tuning in uh, and showing your support as well. If you guys like seeing the silver action, please drop a like. Let me know or in the comment section as well uh, because it is something that I would be very happy to uh, do because I, I think that was this cup run was one of the most fun cup runs that I've had playing FIFA in a really, really long time. So uh, that is something that I will try to incorporate weekly for you guys. Maybe I'll try to throw a bronze one in there every so often as well. Do some underdog in, but that's always a little bit more challenging. The difference between silver and bronze is amazing, even though the difference between silver and the gold sometimes doesn't even feel like it's that much. So thank you guys very much again for watching. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.